I guess Africans are black, yes. But they're not black. They're not black, black. Like black Americans, we are black. We're ah. black people. That's what we identify as. have it again if we want to be real africans are negroids Men black americans are negroids yeah. caribbeans are negroids a lot of melanated people are negroids of the negroid race black is really just a name for real technically but yes i guess africans are black yes but they're not black they're not black black like <laughs> black americans we are black ah. we're black people that's what we identify as it doesn't matter what white people or asians or Latinos or whatever, Polynesians, it don't matter what they call Africans. Now, because they can't tell the difference between who's who. Some other races don't know the difference between us, but we know the difference between us. So like I said, if you're not Black American, Sulan, Afro-American, African-American, then no, you cannot say it. We gatekeep in all 2024. Matter of fact, nigga is a respelling of nigger. And typically representing African-American speech, African-American, African American, not African, not Caribbean, African American. Mainly used among African Americans. It also says other people use it. But however, it is taken to be extremely offensive when used by outsiders. Other people use it, sure. Y'all be using it and shit. But to some of us, it's offensive when used by outsiders. There's being who was not black American, Solon, African American. Afro-American, us. It's offensive when anybody outside of us uses it because it's our word. And again, it came from the slur. But right here, begin to diverge in use among some African-Americans. Again, us, African-Americans, with nigga becoming the preferred term for neutral and positive self-referential <coughs> uses. Meaning we claim the word. We claim the word. We took it for us. Now we use it. Black Americans. You see what I'm saying? Nigga isn't for melanated people nigga isn't for people with afro phenotypes if we want to be real and technical nigga was made for us and reclaimed and taken by us not africans not caribbeans not other dark people not these other races if we want to be real nigga is our word exclusively and nobody else's because when the word came out who were they calling nick errs black american slaves in the 18, 17, 1800s, 1900s, they wasn't down using that in the Caribbean for their slaves. Because those were what? The Irish and the French or whoever else down there? I don't know. But in America, the United States, the white Americans here, they were calling us Nick Errs. And nigga is a derivative of Nick Err. And they were calling us niggas. Until we, black Americans, Afro Americans, black Americans, took that word away from them, they added it to our vernacular. Ebonics, AAV, whatever you want to call it. That is our word that we choose to use positively amongst each other for endearment. That is our word. That is not for Africans just because white people call y'all that. It's not how that works. You know, um, after it's like me saying, you know, in South Africa, they were calling us scoffers, right? And then because we did not like that word as black people, we did not like how that sound, we came together and said we are going to call ourselves Kafrinkis so that we can claim it and make it our own. Wait, 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 wait. Let me cook. Let me cook. I'm still cooking. I know this is going to be a trigger off. But wait a minute. I want to just do something here and give me a chance. And then I say, you know what? No other black people are supposed to use this gafferinkis. It's reserved only, only for black people in South Africa. Exclusively. So if you are not oppressed like we were, because we feel like we experienced more oppression than any of you coming in. False, by the way. We deserve to reclaim this word and make it and put it in our speech, in our everyday use. It's because it's positive. We wanted to do this in our culture. Okay? You see how that sounds like? I don't know if you see it. It sounds like 
We take things from our oppressors, make them our own, and then we don't want anyone else to use it, just like colonizers did. Listen, I'm fine with 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 yourself you wanting to be a nigger, but it's really weird. After so many years of so-called independence, you still want to be referred to a word that was used to degrade you and humiliate you. And your only justification to using this word is that you flipped it around and made it your own. Yeah, it's like white people telling us that, yeah, we started colonization, but now look at black people that are colonizing themselves. Someone will say, oh yeah, you're taking it a bit extreme. It's not like that. You use terminology started by people that were meant to oppress you. You flip it around and use those very things. And then you exclusively make it your own so that other black people don't use it. Tough. Unfortunately, black people in the States, whenever they get sucked in to the black culture, they are identified as one of your own because they can't tell the difference. Right, but they can tell the difference the way I speak. They can tell the difference that oh, where are you from? But they won't tell the difference the minute I start speaking like you. They won't. They will start telling that oh, she's 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 among the Negroids. She's a Ningor, you know. So for me, I understand why why black Africans. Going to the States, isolating themselves from you. Because it's this type of behavior. Why would they? Why would I exclude myself to be excluded? It's like I'm forcing this relationship that's one-sided. I need. I mean, I made two videos. Two videos two videos addressing black Americans. And it's shameful, really, that I'm addressing such videos. And they go viral on top of that. Ugh. They go viral, so viral that I have to address it now. I have to talk about this thing that I don't want to talk about. This is the second time now I'm addressing this thing. There's no speciality in you reclaiming colonized words as your own. Okay? In the world, they don't care. Okay? They don't care. You and I can get married tomorrow as black people. Don't you want your kids to identify with you? No, I'm asking. I'm curious. Because there are black people from Africa intermarrying with African Americans. What if they also live there in America? And... Because their father is African American, they grew up in a predominantly African American sitting space. They start using the word. What then? They're not supposed to. You have friends who are African Americans. You grew up in an American setting, culture, environment. You're not supposed to use it. Remember that Black Americans are a collection of multitude of tribes, cultures. And although, wait, let me say a multitude of people who were brought in. Some of them were already in America, but some of them were brought in. And all of those people combined. Okay? Let's just understand that as well. That you are not just you by yourself. You are because of we are as black people. That's why you say umuntu. That's why we call ourselves Bantu people. We don't do this stuff. We started doing this stuff immediately. We had colonizers. You started doing and behaving those things because you saw your colonizers doing it and you started adopting their behavior. And now you think that behavior is right. And it's not not respectfully just to black Americans. It's just us as black people. We just never learn. And because we never learn, we are continuously going to be oppressed by the system and by these people. Because we ourselves are doing the bare minimum for them. Literally. Ah, yeah, man. Yeah, man.